everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim and I've made a commitment to lose 100 pounds this year. I follow a ketogenic diet and I exercise. I hope you all will subscribe if you're not already and follow me on this journey. One, two, three, yeah. So today I made for you three different flavors of cauliflowered rice. It's something I've really been into lately. It just, it tastes so good, I love it. Um, and so I thought of, um, yeah, three different ways that you might, you guys might actually um, enjoy it too. So I am gonna taste test these after I show you all how I made them. And then um, I'm also gonna show you first my weigh-in for today. So I weigh in every Sunday um, and I post a video every Sunday so you guys get to see my progress every week. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that now. And I was really excited about this weigh-in. I am so close to the 100s. Last week I was 209, so this week I am 206. And if I keep it at this rate and lose three pounds a week, then in the next two weeks, I could be at 200 or 199 and I just, yeah, I can't wait. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how I made these three different uh, flavors of cauliflower rice. So I have a large bag of riced cauliflower from uh, Costco, of course. It's about three pounds and it comes frozen and I keep it in the freezer. So you wanna make sure that you thaw it out for a little bit. And this recipe I'm gonna show you is only gonna involve this one pan. I'm gonna put olive oil and butter for the all of the cauliflower so they all have the same base. Um, the only other thing you're gonna to need to cook is gonna be the eggs for the fried rice. So for this, I just um, scrambled up two eggs. So depending how much you wanna cook, you might um, make less eggs or more eggs. I didn't really measure anything, but this is a great way to make eggs real quick so you don't have to use another pan. I just cook it, this one took about like a minute and a half, and then I will just uh, chop it up and that will be the scrambled egg portion of the fried rice. Everything else is just ready to go, so everything goes in raw. The first flavor I'm making is like a fried rice, I'm using coconut aminos, but you could use soy sauce, green onions, and scrambled eggs. The second flavor is like a Greek Mediterranean, I have Kalamata olives, feta cheese, and a mixture of peppers, onions and tomatoes that already came chopped up. The third is kind of like a take on the chipotle rice with just lime and cilantro. Once the cauliflower has thawed out a little bit, it probably took maybe like 45 minutes and basically like you just want to be able to crumble it up so it's not in like a really hard chunk and I just put a little olive oil in the pan and then I pour the cauliflower in. So you can see kind of the chunks but I'm able to break them up. It kind of has the consistency of like crushed ice. And um, I just put as much of the bag as I can in here. I'm basically cooking the whole bag. It's a three pound bag. And, uh, but again, you can cook as much as you want. I'm also gonna use butter. I don't measure anything because I don't really log my food. The only time I log is if I've gained weight like two weeks in a row and then I might take a look back. But I've been doing this a while that I kind of know uh, what my portion should be. Here I'm using some pink Himalayan sea salt and that's gonna be the base of all of the flavors of rice that I'm making. And once this all um, cooks up, and it really doesn't take long, as soon as the butter melts and everything's evenly coated, I just take it off. And I like doing it this way because I feel like it leaves the cauliflower just a little crunchy enough to feel more like rice. If you cook it too long or you boil it first, it gets a little too soft. So here I'm just pouring the rest of the bag in and I'm going to do the same thing by putting some more butter and some pink Himalayan sea salt. Once that's complete, I have three even bowls for all the different flavors I'm gonna make. And now it's really easy. So the first one I'm making is the lime and cilantro. So you just add whatever toppings you'd like to make and you just um, squeeze the lime across and then you just give it a mix. Then for the second one, we have the Greek Mediterranean. I have the feta cheese and the um, chopped veggie mix, which is tomatoes, onions, peppers, and then the kalamala olives. So again, you add all of the ingredients and you just give it another mix. And if you uh, want to measure everything out, if you are tracking all of your macros, then, um, then you'll know exactly like how much to put in. And the third is gonna be this uh, fried rice, and you have the egg and 
the green onions and then you can use soy sauce or I'm using coconut aminos. I just like the way they taste. It's soy free and you just give that a mix as well. And there it is. So I've basically made three different versions of cauliflower rice in the same time that you might take to just make one version. Okay, so now we're gonna taste them. I'm super excited. Okay, here we go. So starting with this one. So this is the cilantro lime. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Uh oh, okay. That's really good. <laughs> it does kind of have that chipotle rice taste. Um, mm. Okay. Now, this is the fried rice, so make sure I get green onions and egg in there. Mm. <laughs> that one is so good. Like, guys. I don't know if I've just been on this diet so long that like, it, it tastes like fried rice, I swear. Like, it almost tastes better. But you put the, if you put like soy sauce or the coconut aminos like I did, it really gives it that flavor. The eggs, the onions, ugh. Okay. Now, for this one, I'm super excited about, we got the olives, we got the feta, the tomatoes. All right, here we go. Mmm, okay. Well, that's really good too. This kind of like, tastes almost like a little salad. Almost like a quinoa salad, like if you ate it cold. Um, which is really nice too, because you might be in the mood for that. Like I feel like the fried rice you'd want hot, and then this Mediterranean, you might want it cold actually. But hot would be good too. Okay, so I think I am going to switch these two and we are going to go with third place, cilantro lime, second place, the Mediterranean, and first place, fried rice. They, all three are delicious, honestly, like it's like a fraction of a point in between each. They're all first place to be, so. I don't know, I wouldn't mind eating any three of these every day for a whole week. Uh, I would never get bored of it. They are so good. But of course, I will switch it up with my meals. And um, yeah, I hope you'll make one of these or try all three. And uh, maybe you'll form your own little recipe with cauliflower rice. Um, there's just so much you can do with it. And I just that's why I wanted to share it with you all today. It's really, really good. <laughs> all right, uh, hopefully next week we are at 2.03 and or less or more it's fine but the 100s will come one day even if it's not in the next couple weeks i know it's coming and i'm excited and i hope you guys will get to see those results too i don't know what i'll do i'll probably freak out it'll be like maybe a little dance or something like i don't know i just it's been like six years honestly i think because i'm trying to think back of when i was in the 100s and it was pretty hard but i'm gonna guess around six years so just thinking that I'm going to be back there soon is kind of, I don't know, it's almost like unbelievable. Like I know it's gonna happen, but it's like you just can't picture it, you know, cause it's just been so long. Uh, anyway, I'm ranting now. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>